the EY World Entrepreneur of the Year for 2015 is awarded to France, Mohan Altran. France, Mohan Altran. I'm coming from a country which is which really doesn't exist, which is Syria. My story for the last 40 years is France. I am a French. I came to learn French in this country. Life is difficult, but you can over you were all you can overcome difficulties. Now, this is my message to you. This is my message to the humanity. We can help each other. Don't look at the company as a place where you generate money. You become an, an a robot who generates money year after year. And, then, and later on, you become a billionaire, which is my case. But this is, this is not the objective of life. The objective of life is to help, to help the human <laughs> through action. It's an exceptional uh, emotional uh, moment that I have not lived in my life. I am living it now. So it's something just uh, in it I couldn't imagine, you see, because the room was full of very talented people and I had the chance to be the one who was elected for this year. My group is uh, uh, 17,000 people, $2 billion uh, turnover. We have people in 100, 100 countries. One of the fundamental messages that this group is really uh, uh, need to stick to, which is written in a charter called Pathways to the Possible, is confidence, confidence, Confidence. We have to be confident 
uh, whatever your nationality, whatever your color, whatever your region, that trust, we need to trust uh, each other. Because honestly, I think that the trust is the basis of everything. Now we have at our disposal a, a lot of means to control people, but the best control is trust. It doesn't mean that you have to be naive, you don't look at things, not that. But start but by saying, I don't know you, you don't know me. The only thing really I would like you to accord to me is that you trust me, but believe me, I will trust you. Then we have a very clear basis of communication and we will carry on discussing and we will, be, we will build uh, good things together. Yeah, the driving force is really is to create something big, something which could be useful for the humanity. Uh, for instance, you see, uh, uh, I don't, uh, I, I, my, in my charter, if you write it, which is for the Altrado group, we don't talk about economy. We say Altrad is a human venture. It's a real human venture. It's a win-win situation or a lose-lose situation. In other words, if the company wins money, which is the case for the last 30 years, is something like 200 million euro a year of profit, at least 15 or 20 part of this profit should go back to the employees, not only to the shareholder. A company like Altrad, it's not a standalone thing. It, it has ramification in the city, in the, in, the, in the society. I mean, you work for Altrad, I work for Altrad. But at the end of the day, you go back to home and you find your family. And your family is not Altrad. So it's not disconnected. It has roots, it has communication in it. So we have to think this... Uh, the basis of a company is the man who built the company and the company is built by the man and must be for the man, you see. So in uh, concrete terms, every year personally I, I just uh, invest in humanitarian uh, action, 30, 30 humanitarian action every year and that's worth 10 million euro. I think you see, I, I, I strongly believe that what you are, what I am, is what we need. And that's the important thing. That means, in other terms, uh, the company we create, because we are talking about company, should carry on after we pass away, because it will help people, you see. Because we, are, we pass away. You see, it's difficult uh, when you start the way I started, where uh, uh, born from a, mo a poor uh, mother uh, who was uh, 12 years old, who was abused twice by, by my father, who was the head of the tribe. And uh, he badly treated my older brother uh, to, to the extent that he killed him, actually. And then I had the chance to have a grandmother who...